In this episode, we are going to take a look on how to draw the same uh, quad, so this quad, but this time using the using indexed drawing or uh, element buffers. So at the end, we are going to have the same result, but with a different drawing mode. So for this, we are going to need an index index buffer. So I'm just going to copy it here. So I'm call it, calling it indices, and as you can see, it has six values, and each row. Of this indices list specifies a triangle so and this tells how to connect uh, connect these vertices to actually form a triangle so it says that hey use the zero index which is this vertex connect it to the first index which is this vertex and connect it to the second index which is this vertex and then reuse the first index which is this one connect it to the second index which is this one and connect it to the third index which is the last vertice and uh, with this method we can actually um, prevent uh, yes prevent to have duplicate vertices we can reuse vertices in instead of duplicating them so um, if you have a, a large uh, file i mean a, a 3d object model which have thousands or ten thousand uh, vertices you want to prevent duplicate vertices because drawing those vertices which are duplicates takes uh, time and uh, of course uh, it uh, consumes resources uh, from your um, computer so now that we had indices uh, of course we cannot use it like this one we need to also convert it to a numpy array so i'm going to here indices equals np that array and give it giving it the indices and the d type will be np dot u int 32 so unsigned int 32 and unsigned means that uh, it has values uh, between from 0 to positive so uh, an unsigned int cannot have negative values so now that the indices is uh, converted to an numpy array we can actually create the element buffer object so after the vbo or the vertex buffer object i'm just going to create an ebo which stands for element buffer object and you can create it with the same method so gl gem buffers gem buffers and one buffer and you also need to bind this buffer so gl bind buffer but this time we are going to use the gl element array buffer so gl element uh, array buffer and also giving it the EBO. So here, when we bound the the vertex buffer, we use the GL array buffer, and when we bind, bind the uh, indices, we are using G the element array buffer. And we are also going to send the data using the GL buffer data to the GPU. So GL buffer buffer data and its first argument is also the gl element array buffer element array buffer its second argument is the uh, number of bytes in this indices array so it has six values and each value has uh, four bytes so six times four is 24 and the easiest way is just to use it like this one so vertices is n byte here we are going to write indices dot n bytes n bytes and uh, also the pointer to the indices array indices and we are going to also use the gl underscore static draw okay so now we set up our element buffer object uh, here everything stays the same and here in the draw loop or the application loop i'm going to comment out these gl draw arrays and now we are going to use the gl um, draw elements function so draw elements okay so the gl draw elements uh, first argument is the mode so we are going to use the gl triangles gl triangles and the second uh, argument is the number of indices to draw so we have six which is the length of length of indices and the third argument is the type of the data which is gl unsigned int so here we specified and the d type which is uint32 which is unsigned int32 so gl underscore unsigned 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 where it is here it is unsigned int 
and the last argument is the offset so we are going to set it to none and now if I run it okay we have the same quad as I said we will have at the end the same quad but now using the indexed drawing using element buffers and one more thing to actually I'm going to show you this GL draw element so its first argument is the mode the kind of primitive to render so here are the other modes we are using the GL triangles the number of elements to be rendered which is the length of the indices and the type of the values it can be GL unsigned byte unsigned short or GL unassigned int and the last argument is the indices a pointer to the location where the indices are stored although it is not very clear what this means so I found here a better explanation here in the docs.gl and here it says specify as an offset of the first index in the array in the data store of the buffer currently bound to the GL element, element array buffer target a little bit maybe clearer and here if you if you are using um, C++ or C you the uh, last argument should be null pointer which is in Python just none or alternatively you can also use these C types C type that C underscore void pointer zero and it works but you cannot give it just zero like this because it won't work so I'm going to change it back to none and uh, to make it a little bit more interesting I'm just going to add to it one more um, one more word C and this vertex will be here so it will be the uh, fifth vertex which is at uh, index uh, 4 so this vertex at x will have 0, 0.0 at the y it will have 0 0.75 and at the Z still 0, 0.0 and its color will be yellow so one on red one on green uh, one on green and zero on blue and now let's tell the indices to actually use also this vertex so I'm going to create a new row here and I'm going to tell it to actually so one two three four so we are going to reuse the second and the first index so two and three and connect it to the fourth index and let me see it and now as you can see we have uh, some kind of uh, an envelope or for letters and this last vertex as you can see is color to red so yeah this is how you can use uh, index buffers and here uh, here is the OpenGL-tutorial.org website and the principle of indexing. Until now, when we build it, when we building your VBO, we always duplicated our vertices whenever two triangles share an edge. And in this tutorial, we introduce indexing, which enables to reuse the same vertex over and over again. So reuse the same vertex over and over again. And this is done with an index buffer or element buffer. And here is without indexing. I'm going to add this link to the video description so here it is uh, without indexing and with indexing so as you can see here he draws a quad and these and these here here in this position and this position there are duplicate vertices so he doesn't use a GL triangle strip like we did in our last video and uh, here with indexing he just have has four in uh, vertices and uh, he connects it with indices so he uses vertex one vertex two vert i mean vertex zero vertex one vertex two then he reuses vertex two and vertex one and connects it to the vertex three so zero one two two one three uh, from now on uh, i'm going to mainly use this uh, uh, index drawing instead of uh, normal drawing with gl draw arrays sometimes uh, maybe i'm going to back to use gl draw arrays but from now i'm from now on i'm going to mainly use these gl draw elements <laughs>